In the most recent episode of Drink Champs, NORE and DJ EFN welcomed Ergotti back to the program to discuss the sale of his masterworks, his future movie, Nelly. Right. And you always liked Pac, though? Always. always. Like, even when he, f the first album. Oh. Here, founded Murder Incorporated Records and became well-known for signing musicians like Ja Rule, Ashanti, and Lloyd. He changed his concentration and increased his influence in television and film in recent years. Hip-hop tunes were transformed into visual stories for his BET TV program, Tales. Gotti released his six-part documentary, The Murdering Story, on the cable channel in August 2022. However, Gotti hasn't completely stopped making songs. The mogul is still committed to resurrecting his record business, despite selling a portion of his masters and publishing. The New York native signed LAZR as his first new artist in July. The up-and-coming performer will be included on Gotti's next movie, We Made It in America, which is scheduled to release later this year, as well as its soundtrack. Revolt put together a list of nine things we learned from the Ergotti episode in order to help fans get a summary. If you missed it, you can watch the entire conversation here. Gotti disclosed last year that he had reportedly sold his master and publishing rights to Murder Incorporated for $300 million, representing a 50% ownership in the company. He made the decision primarily to raise money for his upcoming projects, which include TV series and feature films. Gotti claims that after witnessing how much money he made from selling his, other musicians, including Future and Justin Bieber, were motivated to do the same. I basically said, I must sell my past to invest in my future, she continued. I marketed every item. I gave the bar away. The majority of it, including the producer royalties and my masters, were sold by me. I brought about a fad. I started witnessing everyone sell their stuff after I sold, he said. Gotti is now preparing to make his first film, We Made It in America, which was initially hinted to in July 2022. The music mogul revealed that the film, which is tentatively set to come out in October, will loosely reflect Jay-Z's biography and his transition from drug dealer to prosperous businessman. Gotti released a six-episode TV show this week that detailed the process of choosing the lead actor. That I wrote, produced, paid for, and directed. All of my hip-hop niggas will enjoy it because it's a hip-hop movie. It's a great movie for hip-hop culture, according to Gotti.